All right, ladies and gentlemen, tell you what, as realtors, we get a lot of questions mm -hmm. about locations. Yes, we do. Where are we at in the Iowa Great Lakes? So we thought it'd be kind of fun to just kind of point out some places on uh, the Iowa Great Lakes. And we'll literally start with Westlake Okaboji yes. route, Ken. Yes. So like if we're going to jump in a boat or on the side by side, yeah. because of this time of the year, mm -hmm. and we have leaves. O OBW, where the bridge at, that separates east and west. Okay. We yep. say we're going to take off from there. Okay, yeah, if we were going to leave from OEW, uh, technically come around there. When we leave that area, there is a point out there that the yep. chateau is on. Yes. And believe it or not, that's called Givens Point. Givens. I wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. I would never <laughs> know that. I always thought it was something. I, I don't know. I really didn't know that it was called that at all. So, you want to track around to the north side? And up to the east side? Let's take that trip, ladies and gentlemen. Man, we're rolling, all right? If, if we cruise around there, Rob, yep. we're going on, on the right hand side when we leave uh, OBW. So, yep. we're coming around Givens right, Point. Givens Point. We keep going straight we both, along there. We go past Fort Dodge Point. Right, and that, that's, that's on the uh, north side. Okay. Going up the right going. side. Mm -hmm. Once we get past Fort Dodge Point, so we go by the old New Inn area, and then there's that point there, which is Atwell Point. Atwell Point. And that whole long stretch is called Dixon Beach. Dixon Beach area. Just kind yes. Of throw that in there. So. And then once we get around Atwell, mm -hmm. then we get into another cruise along Echo Bay, Bay and Omaha Beach. And Omaha Beach. Because yep. a lot of people ask about where Omaha. I get that question quite a bit. Omaha Beach or Omaha, yep. what is the Omaha no, area? Or the Omaha so, Point. There we go. Yep. That leads right into Omaha Point. Mm -hmm. so. And then that big area dives into which bay? Hayward's Bay, Hayward's ladies bay. and gentlemen. Yes. Hayward's Bay. So, yeah. so, but we're kind of surprised because some of them we didn't know. Yeah, that's so right. we come out of Hayward's Bay, where are we going, Rob? Uh, Colcord. Or Colcord Point? Is that what it's called? I think so. What That'd be a heck of a trick trivia question. Yeah. Because I would have never guessed okay. that one. And then another long cruise. We're going far Fast Fair Oaks Beach. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good size area too, good size chunk of beach. And that gets you right up to the one of the most popular famous. points in West Lake. Yeah. And that is Pikes Point. Pikes Point. You come around there and you want to make sure that you swing wide if you're on your boat. Yes, very wide. Because there is uh, some areas there where yeah, you might take a lower unit off. Yep. So yeah. Uh, definitely, and you come around there, and then there's a beautiful beach that, as a kid, I remember picnicking yeah. there quite a bit. That's where we went because we didn't have a lake home, so we had to, you know, be heathens and we had to picnic on the beach. <laughs> you know, from there, Rob, we are going to cruise a lot longer. We're going to go all the way up to the North Bay, which is that's pretty common sense, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, we're on the North End. Right? <laughs> that's Lazy Lagoon. Cruise around. Yeah, it's a small area. Be careful in that area. Ah, so. <laughs> uh, and. and Start, we're starting to cruise south, obviously, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So, And then we're going to go past Furman's Point, but in between there is the Rabel's Beach area. But Furman Point, and that's kind of before you get into the what they call the West Okoboji Harbor. Exactly. Yep. So, yep. And uh, cruising in there, a lot of people don't realize them two big towers yep. or lighthouse points. You know, you can kind of cruise in there, but also be courteous of that area. Yes. So folks don't like loud stereos or loud boats. Right. Uh, but it's kind of fun to cruise in there and look at all the nice houses. So there are some nice homes in there. Pretty cool. Yep. So we take off from there and we're going, uh, we're down cruising fast. down there. So this is where you might be able to just kind of kick it down a little bit. Take and you're down to an area that is massive history yeah. in the Iowa Great Lakes. The Eagle Harbor Beach mm -hmm. area. Yes. And back in the days, it was the 1800s and early 1900s, there was a bottling company. And that was, uh, that's where the bottling company for um, Westlake of Bogey Waters. Uh, uh, the well is still there, I do believe. Oh, it's and, uh, mm -hmm. um, and they used to harvest it out of the lake back in the day, but uh, mm -hmm. with the traffic that we have now, uh, okay. that doesn't, can't do that. Don't um, have, yeah, you don't want to drink the water. I don't know. <laughs> pretty uh, cool. Beautiful ones right there. And we're just beautiful homes all along there. Uh, yeah, just beautiful. gorgeous stuff. As we come to the one and only popular yeah. place too. The Manhattan Point uh, in Manhattan Beach area. Yes, yeah. and you definitely want to swing a little wide in that area. Yep. Uh, sand comes out a little farther there, so if you're in your boat. Yep. We're side by side, we're just jumping snow. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having fun. Then, <laughs> and then we're going to cruise around, going to curve west a little bit more, Rob, yeah, and, and we're coming into the one and only. Right. Miller's Bay. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> and you got a little Miller's Point there, and uh, also, in one of the other things, if we were to take off straight out of uh, Smith's Bay, or what it, the so called from OEW, and went straight across the lake there, and would have reached one of the deepest spots in West Lake, mm -hmm. uh, going across there, you're going to go past Hiawatha Point, mm -hmm. and uh, and then down the, down the beach a little bit further, which is another great popular spot. 
Goal Point. Goal Point. And I'm old because that was my place to go. Yeah. By the way, back in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, quick trivia. Uh, Phoebus Point, 134. 134. If I can throw it out there. Yeah. Pass around Goal Point. There's another one that you got to swing around. Eagle Point. That you got to be careful of. So, yeah. yeah. Eagle Point. Mm -hmm. And then the famous Crescent Beach area. Yes, Beach beautiful area. area, yes. And then there's another point there that, mm -hmm. um, I guess I didn't realize, you know, I've been here all my life, I didn't realize it was called Breezy Point. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, and that was right in the little, before you get into Little Emerson and the Big Emerson. Yep, and there's, oh, and you bring up a great point, Little Emerson, there is Big Emerson Bay, which is, they mm -hmm. absolutely, it's huge, yep. but you have that Little Emerson area too, which yep. is a gorgeous area. Yep. So, and then we kind of curve back around, we're coming around on the south end of yep. West Lake Oak Boji Lake. And then another pretty popular point called, Pocahontas Point. Point. Yes. That one gets confused with some of the ones that will come up to here in a little bit. Yes. Uh, but once we get around Pocahontas Point. So you got the Terrace Beach area. That used mm -hmm. to be popular back in the 80s and 90s too. Is that was where everybody went to go have adult beverages and swim. Yes. As and teens and, and stuff like that. That's where I kind of grew up going, ladies and gentlemen. That's <laughs> my earliest memories of the Iowa Great Lakes was right there in Terrace Park. Right. So beautiful. So then up the ways you're going to see Manhattan or Maywood and then you're going to see uh, Bayview Beach, and then Wheeler's Beach, Gillies Beach, Sunset Beach, and then the famous <laughs> one you really got to swing around, which is Pillsbury Point. Pillsbury Point. And that's the one that sometimes people get confused with, say Pocahontas Point, but that's Pillsbury Point. Yes. And there is your buoys to run out there, mm -hmm. and all, on the Iowa Great Lakes, ladies and gentlemen, just in case for you, you amateur boaters don't know what they are, them striped buoys mean shoal, mm -hmm. and that means when you see that out there, you need to go way outside of it. Don't yeah. go in between that and the land. No. Because you That's will lose what's here. called a lower unit. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, and I'm talking about your boat. Okay. <laughs> and then another one I think that uh, is always mistaken, but the actual bay of the amusement park is Cass Bay. Cass Bay. Not Smith's Bay anymore. Yeah. That's not Smith's Bay. That is Cass Bay. So yeah. when you park in there and listen to a little music in Arnold's Park Amusement Park, yeah. you're in Cass Bay. You're not in Smith's. So yeah. when we get technical there, tell your friends we're meeting in Cass Bay, and that'll confuse the heck out of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, we're going to Arnold's Park. Of course, then we can run along to the big history yeah. area right there. Fillingworth. Yes, all the cottages and everything that's yeah. filling with the beach. And we're going to come right back into why where the dry dock area is. And we just made a cruise around West Lake Okoboji, ladies and gentlemen. In 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah. So, hey, thanks for joining us for a little educational point here. Uh, once again, as realtors get a lot of questions about where things mm -hmm. are and how they position. So there you go. You can kind of show uh, family and friends and uh, we'll kind of get an idea. And get out your own map and walk along with us. So, you betcha. All right, folks. Thanks again for joining us today. We're having a little fun here at Dow to Hand Group and Keller Waves. I'm Jimmy MacLens. I'm all about you. I'm Rob Hinn. Say something nice to somebody. Have a great day. Thanks.